Hello, I have another quick video for you today. I'm trying to keep all of these videos like below five minutes because I want them to just be like quick, easy videos that you could just like watch in a couple of minutes, know how to do something new with the streaming. So the one I've got for you today is I'm going to talk to you about one of the bots that I use called ScottyBot. If you don't know what ScottyBot is, it is a bot for Mixer. And what is really, really good about ScottyBot, which I personally love, is that it's web based. You don't need any software on your PC to run it. And why I think this is good? A couple of reasons. Number one is if you stream on Xbox or mobile, you don't need a PC sat somewhere to run your software. You can use ScottyBot, you can have it all configured so it does all of your alerts in the chat, all of your commands, that sort of stuff. It's so good, it could do currency, it could do commands, it could do games in the chat, it could do giveaways, it can do... It could do all sorts really. I've used it before for showing a viewer list on the screen, for managing queues to join the game, for all sorts of stuff. Um, what's even better is it's really easy to set up as well. You can set it up on your phone. You could set it up on anything. You literally go to the ScottyBot website, sign in with your Mixer account. That links it to your chat. As soon as it appears in your chat, you could start configuring it. There's even a guide on the ScottyBot website that shows you how to get started with all of it, which I will show you that as well, because a lot of people say, I've got this bot, but I don't know how to use it. The ScottyBot website has literally everything. So. This is the ScottyBot website right here, you just go to scottybot.net, you can see that I'm actually on my Mr. MeSeeks account, which is my bot account right now, just because I already have ScottyBot set up, so I don't want to like remove it and re-add it to show you. So, it's really easy, go to the website, it's pretty obvious what you do first, there's a button that says get started, so let's click that. Ignore the, ignore the little adverts there, it's just supporting ScottyBot, you know, but, there's this getting started, step one. So, there is actually an optional too, which you see over there, which adds a desktop app to your PC. You can use this to basically have it like a visual interface of how to configure it all. However, as far as I understand with ScottyBot, all of that in that is going to be moved to the web very soon. I think there is a beta at the very top where it says control panel. That is still currently under development, but eventually you won't even need the GUI on your PC. It's all going to be web based. So what we're going to do, we're going to click let's go. Let's click it right now. Step one. What you'll see right here, an authentication bit pops up asking if I want to sign into my Mixer account and if I want ScottyBot to access it. So obviously I do. We're going to approve that. Success. It's been added. It's as simple as that. So what we're going to do now, very shortly, if we go back to my stream chat right here, very shortly ScottyBot should turn up in this chat. Now, it's not instant. And I don't know how long it's actually going to take. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I didn't think about this very well. But hey. I'm pretty confident this, this is going to appear really quickly, but what's going to happen is ScottyBot is going to appear up in that chat, he's going to post a little message in there, he's going to say, I've just joined your stream, here we go, this is how I'm going to work, that sort of stuff. As soon as he appears in there, uh, you're going to be able to start configuring him, and you can, configure in, you can configure the entire bot simply by typing commands in your chat. If you want to add commands, there's a command to do that. If you want to configure things like queues and currency, that sort of stuff, you've got commands for that as well. So, while we wait for ScottyBot to appear in that chat, basically, there he is. Never mind, he's already got there. There we go, he's already in the chat right now. Simple as that. So, what we're going to do now that we know ScottyBot is in the chat, he should also be in the viewer list here. Which, of course he's not. Makes me look stupid, ScottyBot, how dare you. But, what I'm going to do, if we go back to the ScottyBot website right now, scroll to the top, you'll see there's a commands bit just up here. If we click on that, you've got some really basic ones. So this makes him join and leave. You can get all the keys. You can show the uptime if you stream right here, which obviously the stream's offline. Uh, you can change your, you can view audience and status. You can set a new stream title right there. So this is good for moderators as well. They can type this in the chat to set a title for the stream. They can change the game right there as well. You can even, if you're having a problem hosting someone, a Scotty bot, you can type in that command. You can host another stream. It's as easy as that. But what we want to do is we want to go on the full list right here. So. The amount of times that I refer back to this is insane because this list is so useful. It tells you literally every single command that you need to know for ScottyBot right here. So say, if you want to link ScottyBot to Discord, because you can do that, you can link it to Discord so ScottyBot posts in Discord when you go online and offline. Um, for subscribers as well, you can set alerts on there. You can give you can give subscribers a bonus of your currency, you can do that with a command up there, set how many points you want them to get. Filtering is one that I use quite a lot as well. So this is one useful for mods as well. You can do things, you can pause the chat, you can purge it so you can clear all messages for a user if they're spamming. You can time them out. You can set how long people get timed out for by default. You can uh, you can basically set people to get a whisper if they were warned about something so the bot can whisper them saying you are warned for posting this in my chat. 
you can add people as a regular, so it avoids a lot of these filters. You can set on filters for like people posting links, so the bot automatically deletes them. Gibberish is if they just spam the keyboard, it can detect that as well. Um, if they spam a lot of emojis and sort of stuff like that, you can set filters for that as well, so it deletes messages of a ton of emojis. It's as simple as that. The ones that I use as well, I use quite a lot of bad word filters, so it detects if people put a bad word in there. And it basically hooks it out. If you don't want to sit there and program in all of these words, there's a bad words import. You could put in the channel name Smiler. It imports all the bad words from my stream, puts them into your Scotty bot right there. So you don't have to configure it all, it's already done for you. But custom commands as well, I will show you now. This tells you how to add, remove, reset, restrict commands. So if I want to add a command in here, say I want to add... So basically we'll do, say you add a command that shows a link to my stream. So we'll do command add, and then you do exclamation mark command name. So let's do smiler, and then we'll do www.mixer.com slash smiler. That adds it right there. So next time anyone in the chat triggers smiler, it puts the link in the chat. You can do that with social media. So you could do Discord, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram. You could do links for all of those just with that basic command there. With all the other bits on the Scottybot page, you can set it so the bot posts it every 10 or 15 minutes in the chat as like a repeating command. You can set it even so it whispers that to the person, so rather than rather than it um, posting it just in the chat for everyone to see, if someone wants to know your Discord, you can set it to whisper. You can also set it to delete the message that triggered off the command. So if you want to keep the chat nice and tidy, if someone types in a thing for a command, you could delete that out and just show the result of the command as well. It is all on this Scottybot page right here. Every bit on here. And if any of you have any questions about any of this, just find me a message, let me know. I've been using ScottyBot for pretty much since I started streaming now. It is one of the best bots I've ever used, and it all being web-based makes it so much easier for me to manage. If I want to do an IRL stream on my phone, if I want to stream off my Xbox, I can, it's already set up. All my commands are in there, all the filters are in there as well, the bot is just always there. It is ideal really. You even have variables as well, if you want to put in people's names for like a follow age, or say... Um, you can set to whisper, status, that sort of stuff. It's all there. What I'll do as well, I'll put the links down in the description for this as well. But yeah, this was ScottyBot. If you've got any other questions about bots as well, I also use Firebot, I use uh, Streamlabs Chatbot, ScortBot. I'm looking into Mix It Up as well, which looks like really a really cool bot as well. Find me a message, let me know. Pop in one of my streams, mixer.com forward slash smiler. Let me know. But thank you so much, thank you for watching. If you've got any other questions about ScottyBot, just find me a message, let me know. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.